Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bum Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus trip young and intern time For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand Sports, gossip, all the hot topics RealFansRealTalk.com Got it, they got the hottest bloggers Did Jeremy Lin hurt? We'll log onto the site and you can hear it from them first I'm talking about the latest, I'm talking about the Greatest. Go check out the archives, even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tune in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified co-sign, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk, real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Uh, real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. What's going on? Welcome back to the uncensored version of Real Fans Real Talk because Mav just can't contain himself and you know how battle rappers are. They got to get all those emotions off of their chest. So we, we're allowing him to just be free right now. And um, this is going directly to the YouTube. Unless it's not that bad, then we'll put it on a live show as well. But if it is, it'll definitely be on, on the realfansrealtalk.com website. And on <laughs> on the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash for the fans production. So make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can get the raw, uncut, unedited version of, of this interview. <laughs> and and we're gonna jump back into the into the battles now. Um is there is there anybody right now that you would like to, to kill? See, this is what I'm talking about with him. I'm not <laughs> Is there anybody who's left that you really just want to destroy in the ring? It's probably like one dude. <laughs> See, hey, one man. or two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> one or two. Uh, who's on your mind? Uh, is it Surf? Beanie Siegel. Oh, be oh. <coughs> interesting. And, um, yeah, it's one dude. Why Beanie Siegel of all people? Yo, I don't. People can say what they want about Beans. I think Beans is dope. I agree with you, but you know why? I mean? He's not even a battle rapper. Okay. I mean, he make diss tracks, yeah, okay. but... See, okay. Now, Look, you could tell in the beginning of, of him being on Rockefeller that he was a go-to guy. Whenever dudes came around and it was like, yo, you know, my man rap, this, that, and the third, they, I could tell they called Beans. Like, yo, Beans, yeah. spit something, roast it. Do you think it's unfair it's already. when battle rappers, when they battle industry rappers, that they have an unfair advantage because you pretty much know everything? Like, if you battle Beanie Siegel right now, it's, I mean, you're going to talk about him being knocked out um, at the concert. Like, you know his whole life. So, is it is it unfair? I mean, I got about almost a decade on YouTube, too, with a lot of, lot of exciting moments. Yeah. So he'd be able to talk about stuff too. I don't think it'd be that different. I mean, I know like there's a lot to talk about, but there's only so much you could fit in the round. Yeah. And a dude like Beans, I might go personal, and he just go spitting sure. some crazy, and everybody like, yo, yeah, he got that round. You know what I mean? So it's 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 mad variables with this battle stuff, and I feel like I feel like he could do it. You know what I mean? So what you do think you feel like is the future of battle rap, like 2017 and all that? The future of battle rap. I think that's the young boys coming up now that's making their names, that's battling all the vets and all that. I think they're gonna continue to carry the torch. Now where it's gonna go from there, it's kinda it's kinda tricky because if you commercialize it too much, mm -hmm. nobody cares. And that's what I'm saying. As you guys, like you said earlier, you're gonna transition. You guys want to transition into the mainstream. You guys want that. Like it's no. No, it's, it's no, happening. It's, not it's happening. There's nothing. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's nothing. Not, nobody can do about it no more. Like exactly. Yeah. But like you said, once you guys make that transition, and yeah, it's gonna be new people. But you know, with how do you want? And I'm not gonna say how do you want, but how do you feel like it should be taken I after think, you guys I transition? I think that they like, should keep it as gutter as possible. Because that's what people fell in love with. They fell in love with us just standing around in maybe a small venue, even on the big stages. Mm -hmm. But there were people who grew up from, from those levels 
But those are the levels that really got people paying attention. Somebody standing in a park with like 150 people around and people are trying to figure out why is this dude so important and I never heard about him. Why are so many people here yeah. and I don't know these dudes. This, this is crazy and everybody's just quiet. So do you do you think that a show like Total Slaughter helps or hurts the culture? I mean, I, it definitely helps anytime Eminem lends a hand to the situation. Like, that's dope. Joe Button's getting getting involved. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's somebody who's been out there for a while. So whatever he got from it, we probably got more from it for him doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't think it hurts. I just think that the format was too clean. Okay. Two dudes on the stage, you know, K Slay in the background. Shout out to K Slay. Um, Sway, shout out to Sway. On the stage, it's not like that. People like that crowd. They like that gritty. They like, yeah. like you know what I mean? You want to see the, the team behind them cheering or or when when he's taking the L, everybody taking the L with him. Like, you, yeah. you want to see that. You know what I mean? You want to see the crowd get crazy. That's part of it. It didn't start off with just one dude standing here, one dude standing there people filming and nobody else was around. Yeah. Like, that's cheese. You know what I mean? But yeah, they just got to keep it how it is. Okay. Now, I do, I, I got to go into, because you you have had, as you said, 10 years, so you've had, had a decorated history of, of beefs with people along the way. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to touch on two real N quick. Nothing, nothing that I started. Well, are you like, are you, are you and Beasley? Like, are you guys back on the same picks? I know you mentioned him in the battle Look, man, over there. Man, Beasley don't got no beef, man. You talked about you took his girl from him or something like that. What was that was way before <laughs> I, I, I was even doing my thing on the stage, so it didn't even matter. Okay, all right. And then in this in the disaster situation, like, oh, is that done with? I know you you, no you wanted to you wanted to box him or, no or not. All right, so no comment on 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 disaster. Um, but and then and then you got um, you know the serious Jones stuff. That's all done done with. I mean, if they if they wanted us to to battle again, I would do it. Serious Jones. Yeah, I would okay. do it. You know what I'm saying? I even closed my eyes during his round. <laughs> Why not? Why well, not? I mean, it was the battle did start off good. <laughs> so yeah, but it was it was just you know what I mean. Like everybody have a bad day at work. Yeah. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Something might happen in the morning. Um, you look, you left your kid in the kitchen. You come out, there's food all over the floor. Or something. You was late. Um, somebody, the, the, the conductor train, closed the doors on you in the subway. People have bad days. And when you get to work, you're just not in the mood for none of the, yeah. the I can't even say it, none of the hurry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was just one of those days. But when I, when I saw him again, I told him, I was like, look, I can't blame you for everything that happened that day. I mean, you, you contributed a little bit, but as a man, I apologize for that. Cool. Now, what he right chose to do after that. Yeah. And whether he still discusses it, make it sounds like we still got beef, that's what he want to do. I don't got no beef with him. It's yeah. whatever. And you apologize. I mean, I mean, that's definitely a grown man move, you know, apologizing and, and whatnot. So we definitely got to appreciate, you know, appreciate you doing that. The crew here definitely knows about my bad days. and <laughs> how I can Hence be, the boxing uh, glove. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the be, boxing uh, glove. A little bit, uh, you know, annoying. It's about to uh, pop uh, off over here. Exactly. You got some thing going on over here. <laughs> <there. laughs> <laughs> Speaking of popping off. Yo, do I, yo, let me know right now. Do I need to leave the building before y'all? <laughs> no, I'm You sure? I'm good. All right. The aim is on point. All right. Cool. But just making sure, man. Just making sure. Shalom, Mark. Yeah, Speaking of uh, popping off, what do you think uh, as far as you know, battle rap turning into violence at some events? Like it's battle rap, bro. It's not scrabble rap. It's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not. Uh, it's not chess rap. It's battle rap, son. and then sometimes it get that heated, and it's gonna happen. But you know, if it does happen, you know, hopefully everybody's mature enough to figure out how to mend the situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it, and the one thing I will say, it's it's not like it's something as far as if you think about every league and every event that happens every year, like it's really it doesn't isolated. Happen that often. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Like we I mean, I mean we, you think about every sport. Yeah, there's I mean it's way more it happens. in sports, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jordan who did Jordan two piece? Jordan two two did piece, you, somebody was it Bird? 
Uh, Jordan, he Jordan, snuffed? Jordan fought. He fought he uh, Reggie a Miller. People, he did right. snuff. I mean, I, I like to go back to the Chris Child snuffing Kobe. Yeah, that, that was my, the two piece. That was yeah. That's said, always what? my favorite. <laughs> First of all, you know, you know, he was in New York too long. First yeah. thing he did is he pulled up his pants. He said, "Do do." <laughs> Right. Shout That's out a to New Chris York Charles move right there. He pulled up his shorts, not even yeah. Yeah. Dude, he right, he just the mesh exactly. shorts. And <laughs> he that came was, from right that here was, with yeah. it. Yeah, he so did. You know, that's New York, son. Exactly. Dead ass, B. So <laughs> that's what we got to do. All right. Facts, son. What's, um, what's, what's going on with NYB? Who's still in NYB or, or is it anybody new as far mm -hmm. as battle rappers or anything that um, will be joining NYB? Just stay tuned. You know, I got a tape dropping in December. Just listen to the tape. Okay. I dress a lot of things on it. There's a lot of personal stuff. So if you've been following me, you're going to love it. If you haven't been, you're going to learn a whole lot in a little bit of time. That's cool. Well, we're definitely going to give it a listen once it's released. And you know we're going to talk about it. We're going we to, as soon as you have the next video, as long as I don't have to do too much editing as far as the language, <laughs> then we will run it up here on, on Real I got to get a clean version for you. Please do. But I'm not going to edit the video. So no, when no, it, not when the it video. Says, I'm just going to listen. What the heck? Yeah, no, In the no. video, I'm going to be no. like... We just get yeah, exactly no. You believe that, yeah? It's gonna be and we'll straight just, up. And we'll just just mute it out. We, you know, a lot of people send us send us stuff, and we run it. But I have to always go back and edit out the curses. But we still play it. We still show everybody. What's that the limit? Up love. Cause I know somebody probably sent you something with like seventy eight edits that you had. Damn. Oh, the Matt. This Who guy right here right. is like. I think the most well. Cortez sends us, you know, a lot. So I'll probably say the most would probably be Shout the most. Shout out to Cortez. Yeah, shout out to Cortez. It'll probably Cortez. be the most would be Cortez. Nasty. And uh, NY and my, uh, he played Leo Respect Life. But those yeah. are my guys. Shout out to to both of them. But I probably had to do the most editing between one of those two guys. Oh, Bobby Stone doesn't ever give us problems. See, <laughs> he's shout always he's always he's always good to shout go. Shout out to Bobby. That's my bro. You know, um, I, I, we we definitely we, we gonna play we gonna play the um the D Chambers because D Chambers and we couldn't play uh, all of my so yeah. because there was, not, there was nothing I could all do with that hitters. but we got to play that that just Brooklyn all we gonna we gonna hitters. play that next week when we come back live in the studio because we didn't get to it uh, this this week but we definitely gonna play that shout out to D Chambers he always shows us love whenever we out shout out to the whole Coney Island. Um, but, um, and, uh, I have a question so you know since you're dabbling got the bad rap got mm -hmm. the acting what's next? The tape the music. So and more of the other ones. More of the other Just ones? More, 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 more. All right. And what do you feel like is your biggest challenge as an artist right now in your career? What do you feel like is something that, you know, you're trying to hit now? What's the next plateau for Matt Hoffa? Uh, the next plateau? As far as, like, a goal? Yeah. How do you Just interpret overcoming it? overcoming laziness. Because there's something, there's an arrogance that comes with being nice where you hear other people and you just feel like you shouldn't have to try because you're just so much better than them. You know what I mean? There's so many talented dudes that will probably never get to where they need to be because they just know that they that good. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that way sometimes. And I got to snap out of it like, yo, yo, son, what are you doing? Go. Make these moves. So <laughs> you can't sit, sit down and just be better than everybody. You yeah. know what I mean? So, so I said that's a goal. the best of you, you're saying? Ego. Facts. Ego. But you can't be a rapper and not have an ego. Yeah, yeah of course. I mean, Jordan had an ego, too. Like, you know. And it made him the best. But I'm sure there was times when he was like, man, we playing Washington? But at the same time, you know, he, he, he had that work Yo. ethic where he never took anything lightly. So. Right, right. So, I mean, and all, I know lazy, with that, he it. bet on himself. So yeah. you just got to bet on yourself. When you, anything that you're doing, bet on yourself. If you if you like money, bet on yourself. Yeah, because then you won't lose. You now, know what I mean. One thing I notice with a lot of battle rappers is that they don't, they won't ever admit that they took a loss. With the exception, I think Rex actually admitted that he lost to Charlie Clips. But do you feel like? I never lie. Do you, I never lie. Do you? I never lost any battles. Even you I don't, won all my battles. All right, well, what makes you say that you won all your battles? See, the smile messed you up. <laughs> the smile messed you up. Nah, I say I, I got a couple losses. I, I ain't gonna front. And I say it was due to either, you know, battle rap is like boxing. So if on the day of a fight, a uh, boxer, like his, his mom's passed, a family passed, like you see happen to some, certain battle rappers, mm -hmm. 
that day be like the worst time to be on that stage. Like Rex's nephew passed the morning that he battled Charlie Clips. But yeah. now it's going down in history as like the death of T Rex. Yeah. But for him, it's like something was going on. I just wasn't hundred percent there. But do you? Because I mean, because even when when you have something, you know, something tragic happens, like I always think, like, all right, well, I mean, you didn't write that the morning of the of the battle. You had that. It, it on, don't matter. You gotta understand. You gotta have a keen focus. Keen focus. Like, try rapping with the TV playing. The radio playing, a plane crashing in front of you, three naked chicks on the side. Like, try rap. That's what battle rap is like when you're on that stage. Yeah. You're going to catch eyes with somebody. Somebody's going to say something in the corner. His man going to make a move. Somebody going to act like they throwing something. Somebody going to yell, Tom, in the back. Or There's so many distractions, and you got to be super focused. Yeah. So if you're not super focused up here, something's going to throw you off. Something. I remember. I, was, I remember. I was in London. I stumbled against Shadi Horror. Um, I was on a bar. I was building up to a punch, and out of nowhere, some dude like right in the front row just went, "Oorah!" I was like, "What the?" And I was like, "Yo, what rhyme I was on? Damn." Let me get this back, you know what I mean? But it was like, yo, why? And that one like, thing it golf that's yeah. not silence. Yeah, it wasn't a response to a bar or nothing. It was like yeah. right in the middle. Hoorah! I was like, uh, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> yeah. Get him out of here, you know what I'm saying? But that's what it's like. You got to have a keen focus. So if, you, if you're not all set, anything can happen. Gotcha. Who, um, out, of the, out of the newer class, who do you think is going to be the next up? If I had to say, like, I think um, there's a few names, but I won't name them right now. I'm going to give them some time because a lot of them are talking big. If you look on their Instagrams, there's certain yeah. people that you might be following that you watch them and they just talking too much, but they don't got enough fights. Okay. So I'm going to let them live. I'm watching them. I'm because definitely watching. And then, they'll, and then they'll be like, well, Mav big me up, so you know I got to I gotta battle him. And like, Next thing you know, oh, yeah, you was on TV. Yeah, big <laughs> me up. <laughs> exactly, because that's, that's how it goes. You give somebody a compliment, and they're going to throw it in your face right. during, during the battle, so it, it's kind of rough. Now, do you, how is it, to, is it hard to separate what, you know, guys say in their rhymes as far as who they are in real life. This is battle rap. From battle rap, because everybody, I mean, I ain't say everybody, but a lot of guys, especially like the smack rappers, Look, they talk about my streets and, and what they... This is battle rap. Two MCs hit a stage. With no beat, they compete with rap schemes and displays. Now, those shit may seem real or really mean, full of rage. At the end of the day, they don't mean what they say. Sometimes like it, you, you can't get caught up because people will pick things to talk about that might be real life for you, mm -hmm. but they just don't understand what they're really talking about. You know what I mean? Like bring up a situation where they might have seen, oh, I think you have beef with this person, but they don't know how far that went. So they'll bring that up. Yeah. And you're like, what are you doing? Well, was, yeah. like, somebody dropped over that. What are you doing? It's crazy. But it's battle rap at the end of the day. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to kids on the stage. Like you wouldn't even understand where I'm coming from with some of the stuff I'm saying to you. Like you, you're just not gonna get it. You know what I mean? What's the best league to battle on for you? All of them. Depends on what day. Depends on what battle. Um, I say the 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 most receptive crowd is London. Except for the oorah, he gotta Except go. For that guy, that, <laughs> that guy got gotta go. I, I sweat, yo. If I see him in there, <coughs> when I get out there, it's I'm gonna tell him, look, see the, look, 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 get him out of there, get, put him out the, 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 yeah, put him to the, to the to the he, back of the crowd. And he paid for that front row, though. Right he yeah. paid to nah. be right there. Oorah! For every other battle, he can't be up there for math battle. Every other battle, he's fine. Math battle, that's not cool. That's it. So, but um, London very receptive. Canada's very receptive. Um. Yeah, I, I can't. Sweden was receptive. There's one, look, once I start the battle and I say, right now, I'm like, right now, he like, finally. <laughs> Depending on how many people say, Daddy, spend a time with yeah. me, I know how the night is going to go. Yeah, it's going to be a good You know one. what I mean? And so far, when I say it, everybody say it, good. 
I'm good. I'm in good hands. I'm in good hands. That's the def, definitely a good look. Is there is there, like all right? I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna, like with these, you know we we have the clicks in battle rap, and then and we saw you know DNA and, and K Shine that are together and and that whole NWX versus Dot Mob, which you know K Shine versus Rex. Or then we saw A Verb battle Hitman Holler. Like w is there ever a point where you would feel like you would battle somebody who's who who was an NYB or, or something like that, or would it just be we just won't mess with each other no more if something like it that? It would have to be a situation up. where we don't we don't really we don't really mess with each other no more. Because at the end of the day, like this is like boxing. Yeah. A knockout could cost you the next check. So you get beaten bad enough, yeah. People mm -hmm. ring they not the booking is not, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna slow down. I've seen it happen. It's happened to yeah. me, it's happened to a lot of dudes that have been doing this for a long time. You show up to a battle and something go wrong and somebody catch a 30 on you or a strong 2-1. Yeah. That's like, well, you know, we don't want to see you for right yeah. now. Yeah, cool fall off. back. Fall back, buddy. Fall back. Word. When are you back on the main stage? When are you back on, on, on URL? I don't know. I don't know. It's got to be a matchup I really, really, really care about. All right, so I'm going to throw some names out at you. And you tell me if if the, if this is if it's even worth worth you you battling them. Good. All right. The first one is definitely surf. Trash. <laughs> All right. He's out. <laughs> he's just he's just doing my whole, whole thing off right there. Trash. Oh no, so Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> so he so he threw me off. Trash. He, his whole day dead. <laughs> Yo, I gotta I gotta see his next battle though. Well, I mean, I, I mean, didn't he? Son, his last couple of battles man. been bad. They have been bad. They got him in the full Nelson up yeah. there, son. He's been choking his life away, bro. And, you know, from what I'm hearing about the Shug battle. I was right there. And he, he choked Matter of fact, life. I was going to put out a blog, but I'll give y'all an insight. If you watch the battle, I'm standing there, right in the middle. It's probably like one or two people inching in front of me, maybe like um, Ray or Arsenal. Right there, mm -hmm. they the league owners or whatever. I'm front row and I'm watching this battle go down. I came out to Jersey just for this battle, cause it was like, yo, I gotta see this. I felt like Shug was gonna take it, but when they introduced them and they was like, yo, on this side shotgun Shug, the crowd was like, eh. it was like, yo, this side Sue Surf. Ah, I was like, oh shit, Surf is he the favor? Oh, this is this is nuts, cause they both from Jersey. Yeah. I, we in Jersey, so I'm like, okay, I I still got faith that Suge is gonna take this. So Suge goes his first round, you know he hits, but I could tell it, it's the first round energy. Everybody's into it. Then Surf went, and they was going crazy for his for his you know his round. Second round, Suge does the chest bump joint. Forget a pocket check, I chest check you, and he hit him in the chest. So let me tell you something. I'm a very good judge of situations most of the time. When my ego get in, when my ego's not in the way. When I see it like this, and I'm just paying attention to myself. When I'm observing, I see everything. This dude turned around. You just got smack, knuckle smack in your chest. <laughs> Hit him with the. <laughs> you know when somebody knocked the wind out of you? Yeah. And you can't fight for like. Five seconds, like five seconds, you're like, you try to back up or whatever. Yo, that look on his face when he turned around, his eyes was high. I was like, oh, that's not the I want to do something back look. That's not the, that's the, you You kind of scared right now. You don't, you don't know how far this is going to go, son. So yeah. right after that round was done, he runs to the bathroom. People like, yo, maybe he's sick, maybe. That really threw him off his game completely. He never had nobody get physical like that. And yeah. I could tell by his ego that he got a problem with people taller than him. You know what I'm saying? He's one of those guys. And Suge is a big and guy. And Suge, <laughs> I mean, not a push, no nothing. When I battled Suge, he kept rubbing his titties on me. I was like, yo, son, stop, stop, stop. So one, <laughs> at, at some point, I got mad. And I gave him, remember, double dragon, the elbow? Yeah. Oof, I hit him with the elbow, the people's elbow. He fell back on his people's. Everybody jumped in the middle and all that. But they didn't put that in the footage. Yeah. I was like, yo, son, just stop touching me. 
Like, we cool. What you trying to make this look like? You know what I mean? You know I'm not one of the WWF dudes. Like, yeah. don't do that. And he was like, all right, whatever, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. We finished the battle. We laughed it up. But that right there, it was like, I can't do nothing. It was just like. Now, was that before the water bottle got thrown or, or, or after? Yo, you know what? I saw when the water, when the bottle went up in the air. And I was like, oh, Chris Brown and Drake in the club. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, it's going down. <laughs> then I look, because like I said, I'm observing. I look, and I'm like, it's an empty plastic water bottle. It went up fast. It kind of just went down <laughs> mad low. It didn't touch surf. So him complaining about it was irrelevant, bro. It yeah. was irrelevant. Like, the dude that it landed on didn't care. He was like, man, why y'all throwing him out? Yeah. He threw it down on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like... We, we we gotta have man. If you gotta come. You gotta come back. We gotta have now. Like they had a uh, see true Hollywood stories on Dave Chappelle. With, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I got a million of those. I, gotta I have, can't. Yeah. I don't know if I can tell all of them, but you gotta have true battle I, I, I rap stories. I can give stories. you some good ones. With, I, I with, can definitely man, give you some good ones. When you come back from London, we definitely gotta set it up to have you come back. We need we need at least an hour. We might need two hours with you with you on. Don't get mad, Pop, for two hours. Yeah. It's give over. Me two hours. Son. It's we're gonna be a special. We're gonna be we're gonna be I'm gonna be right here. Y'all gonna be sitting on the house. We definitely appreciate yeah, like, you coming yeah, through. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> see what he got his feet up on, on Mama's Quick. coffee table. Right. We don't know how to act. <laughs> but uh, listen, we gotta get up out of here. So yeah. for myself. Mark the Stabman, Scavage, Math Hoffa, Ladybug, Anthony Mason Jr. We will see you guys next week. And I'm going to get this interview up online as soon as possible because y'all really need to see <laughs> Math Hoffa. He will be back. I'm telling you right now, he will Pot definitely juice. be back. Well, not live, so obviously yeah. they're going to see it when exactly. it's online. <laughs> December. That's, that's how Brooklyn juice. do. Every time Going I look down. at you, I want to put it with a foot knife. What's the, how the rest go? Man? He messed up your line. Oh, 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 that. that was years ago, man. Right? We we'll we'll let y'all finish that. Uh, <laughs> we, you listen, that was, you know what I mean? That was, that was an old battle, but that is to let you know how far back. I told y'all about the rap, rap what one. So you know I've been, I've been, you know, following Mav's career for, for a long time. So it's definitely a good look having you on the program, man. Salute. But we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Domus tripped young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Real fans, real talk.com. Got it. They got the hottest bloggers. Did Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. I'm talking about the latest. I'm talking about the greatest. Go check out the archives. Even tell a neighbor. Tell a from spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda.